Labor is not a commodity. Workers and employers are in fact the most precious asset of growing economies, prosperous societies, and stable political systems. We protect this asset globally by upholding fundamental rights and enabling workers to collectively engage with governments and employers in a process of social dialogue. But inequalities in both Asia-Pacific and the Arab states are widespread, especially relating to women, migrant workers, and people with disabilities. In many countries, child labor persists. Even in a formal economy, labor standards are often not enforced. In fact, most member states in Asia and the Pacific have yet to ratify the Convention on Freedom of Association, one of the ILO's core conventions. These challenges and the labor disputes to which they increasingly give rise can be overcome. But Asia and the Pacific will need to step up its investment in mechanism for social dialogue and the collective bargaining. That means a stronger voice for employers and workers. Through the joint efforts of the ILO, its partners and constituents, the Better Factories program in Cambodia is improving the working conditions in the country's garment factories. Targets for improved working conditions are coupled with productivity gains. Systematic worker-employer dialogue keeps things on track. With the help of the ILO's Better Factories Cambodia program, we now pay more attention to human rights, medical treatment, hygiene and security, the working conditions for our workers at the factory. The ILO has helped us to build a stable environment. We work as a team, and all the team members work hard at this factory. Managers, supervisors, employees, and the unions are getting closer and working more harmoniously. Our standard of living is very much connected to our income, and so negotiated wage policies and employment contracts are key to formally recognizing the economic value of people's work. In 2007, China passed a labor contract law formalizing the employment of tens of millions of rural migrant workers, providing them with basic income protection. Working together, this region can further promote tripartism and social dialogue, which would be fundamental for improving its productivity and competitiveness. Mature industrial relations will benefit many more people and protect their rights. There is already momentum to achieve this. Young people are speaking out, demanding their right to decent work, and policymakers are responding. Domestic workers now have a global standard that recognizes their services as work. And many factory workers and their employers are now solving disputes through dialogue. Further strengthening these approaches will lead this region towards a fairer, sustainable, and more prosperous future.